Aloha! Today we're making Ahi Poke! This is a tuna loin cut. It is beautiful. Whole bunch of green stuff, a bunch of colourful things, whole bunch of seeds, wasabi, nori, seaweed. These guys. Let's get started. First things up, let's make the sushi rice because that's the thing that takes the damn longest. But before you can cook sushi rice, you've got to clean it. Grab a big bowl, deposit the rice into the bowl, and come over to the sink. Once there, just wash the rice out by adding water, stirring around until the water gets cloudy, and continuing the cycle until the water comes clear. Once the water is clear, bring the rice over to the pot, and just leave it to boil on a low heat for about 15 minutes until most of the water has been separated. Chuck a bit of sushi vinegar in there and leave it alone with the lid on. I didn't do that in this video, but I'll do a bit of rice video when I do sushi. Next up, let's just prep a quick tuna marinade type thing, and for this, you're going to use a bit of soy sauce, a bit of lime juice, some tuna, wasabi, and ginger, and I'm just going to like bang it all together. So, let's have a gander over here quickly. You need a bowl. Into the bowl, we're going to cut some tuna. Look at how beautiful this tuna steak is. So, what I want you guys to do is just dice your tuna and cut it into squares by dicing. To which we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of wasabi powder over the top and uh, flavor with some soy sauce. Soy sauce has got a nice saltiness, also brings out that tuna flavor fantastically. Chuck a bit of lime juice in there, give it a bit of acidity, and we're also going to put in some ginger. Now, I grate the ginger to get rid of the fibers. I love the flavor, but I don't like having the fibers in there. So, by grating it, bringing it down to small pieces, putting it in my fist, and squeezing all that lovely ginger juice out, I get the best flavor without those horrible little ginger pieces. Mixing everything together into this bowl, and I'm just going to whack it into the fridge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a salad. Right now, we're just going to do some stir-fried vegetables. So. Get yourself a leek, get some peppers, chop them up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a julienne cut on these ones because it's a culinary term. But uh, let's not forget about the rice. Now once your rice is cooked, you want to bring it down to room temperature. And by doing so, I'm just putting it in a metal sheet. I'm going to spread it out, put some brown sugar. Brown sugar tastes better. Get a bit of caramelization. Get a little bit of sweetness into the rice. And uh, just spread it around so it can cool down evenly. Because uh, hot rice poke is not okay. Back to the prep. So, julienne vegetables, chop up some garlic. Um, we're also going to chop a little bit of cilantro into this thing, or dania, or coriander, depends on what you want to call it, depending on where in the world you are. To a pan, add some olive oil, get it to a nice heat, get everything frying, and um, yeah, it's stir fried veg. It's not too hard. This is practically the way you do it. Just olive oil, heat, pan, throw it about, add some salt and pepper. And now, broccoli, steam it. If you don't know how to steam broccoli, then this is literally it. Place steep broccoli in boiling water, a bit of salt in, like that. Put the lid on, and after a maximum of like two minutes, take them out, because you don't want them boiled, just steamed. Okay, due to the fact that a poke bowl or a poke bowl is literally a combination of whatever it is that you want to put in there, I've decided to go for a whole bunch of stuff. So as you can see, there are all sorts of things. First off, start with the basis. We're going to use some sushi rice. We don't have to use a ton of the stuff, but just enough to be interesting. Alright, now I'm section this thing out, put some stirred fried veggies in there. All nice and to the side, because, you know, Instagrammable. Look at those vibrant colors. It's amazing! We're just going to whack a little bit over there. For the tuna, I want to add a bit of nori to it. Nori is seaweed. It actually just brings out that seafood flavor in a big way. And then take your knife to it. And you get these nice little nori strips. Take the majority of your spirals, blob them in. Two seeds, lob them in. You stir your tuna poke and you stir it all about and... Da 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 da. Cool! Put your broccoli in as well, keeping it to the side, and then for the freshest part of the day, avocado, get your pip out, get your avocado peeled, give it a nice little bit of a slice, and stick it in your bowl however decoratively you want. You don't have to do like a fan, but I'm going to try anyway, and fail. Put your tuna on top of that, get a nice big pile going, the prettier it looks, the more brownie points you get, and um, 
Yeah, let's have a look at that. This all vibrant, it's got the colors, you put your green sprouts on, you've got hashtag health, and you've got a poke ball, an ahi poke. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe, play with your food, and we'll see you on the next one.